Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Sipo TV. I'm misled. With me is Later and Helium. We are bringing you map number two between Team Liquid and Sponsorless after that extremely exciting map number one. Yeah, extremely exciting. Uh, the obvious exciting Hiko play there uh, with the Tech 9 behind Quad. I know a lot of you demanding the replay. Unfortunately, not quite set up here with that technology as I'm casting from my bedroom, as amazing as that sounds. Uh, the VOD, though, will be up immediately following tonight's broadcast, but right now into the pistol round, we got Team Liquid versus Sponsorless. Naf is going to land that touchdown onto Hiko. Adren has also fallen and Sponsorless. The Terrorist here with a 5-on-3 bomb plant. Ooh, but Fugly hits Rix right there through the smoke, able to take him down. So it's going to be a 4-on-3 now with the Liege down low on HP. Trying to work their way into this bomb site. The T's are going to be all set up for this. Crossfire comes out. A Liege and Fugly out of the way. Nitro trying to figure out where there's another terrorist he can kill. But he's just going to get swarmed on. And Sponsorless will take the pistol round. Yeah, huge pistol round for them. Coming off of that first map win, a, a win over Team Liquid, a, I mean, a series win over Team Liquid would be massive. So being put on their, their back foot, playing the T side of Mirage first, they desperately, desperately needed a pistol round to get them going in the right direction. So solid start right here. They have to avoid the eco from Liquid, and, and, they, and they can press the issue early from the terrorist side of the map once again. Circling some sh solid spelling there from Shazam in all chat. Uh, but apparently uh, Russia's game froze, so having some technical difficulties after that pistol round. Sponsorless leading 1-0 and already uh, P90 and MP7 up on the board. Oh, I have a magical link for everybody, and it's going in chat. Oh, nice. What is this magical link? Is it that magical link may or well, I've got to <laughs> may or may not it delete your be. inventory? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take all your skills. I already clicked on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, nope. That, I just collected Miss Led's inventory. Yeah, it looks like someone's but already there got you it go. There. The link is out there. I blasted it out there. Oh, it's the whole it's the whole round, isn't it? I have no idea. I have no idea, but I feel like Yeah, well, I guess the demo I mean, no, the demo possible, released, yeah. right? So someone probably already went in and, and pulled it out of the demo, which is probably even better because then we don't have to listen to ourselves scream and then not be able to no, talk for three rounds. No, that's the appeal of that's it. What I mean, I maybe hear. I'm I biased. I want to hear me <laughs> screaming. Is what I want to hear. All right, fair enough. I hear me scream like a little girl. Amazing. Yeah, right? Just like nonsensical babbling that followed it as well. I feel like that's that would be interesting to listen to as well. All right, so I feel like maybe with all the all the ridiculousness that happened there on that on that round of the previous map, have we maybe glanced over the fact that, you know, sponsorless they did win that. They are in the lead here and you know, you look at the odds not quite as skewed as earlier, but still 83% to liquid on CS:GO lounge, only 17 to that of sponsorless. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty, pretty deep earlier, but I, I think it evened out a lot towards the end there. You got to give sponsors a lot of credit. It's a talented team, talented roster. We saw them push Team Liquid to the limit right there. Ended up taking that map number one, even though Liquid battled back amazingly well. And now uh, Sponsorless takes the pistol from T-Side on Mirage, sets themselves up here. If they can get both anti-ecos to secure three rounds right off the bat. So, again, going for it. I'm just going to keep working this catchphrase in until it catches on, but the room brooms coming out here for Sponsorless. It's please, not going to catch on. Please, please spam sweep in MLG chat, but here we go. They are going out towards the B site. Fugly's there with the scout, and he will be taken down there in the market. Rix is going to be cutting off the rotations with that P90, or rather not cutting off the rotations, as he'll fall, and it's a 4-on-4, four four, but it's a post plan for Sponsorless, and I think already Liquid are saving. Yeah, yeah they're I guess fully committed to it. Yeah, they, they are sitting on some uh, chest and head armors. So that wouldn't be a terrible thing to save, but Adren doesn't really have much to live for here. So he could push up, try to get a frag. Actually, the players are really close right behind him. Just good pop flash here to get him a bunch of frags, but Rush, full hand over face, still going to get the frag. Yeah, Rush able to take that one down. So we're going to have Nitro, Elise, and Hiko left trying to go for the save. Looks like they're going to be able to get a, possibly get away with it. No, Rush steps up, drops the gun out of Elysia's hand, and Hiko does get a frag for himself. He's going to try and run to get to an SMG. Can't get there in time, and Shazam will punish him. So that's two rounds for Sponsorless. Yeah, more rounds that uh, they could stack up the better, especially since Liquid is only one round away from having uh, rifles in their hands. So they're going to need to clean up this third anti-eco round if they want to be able to go into rifle rounds a little bit more comfortably. But, you know, we saw this... Pretty much exact scenario uh, last time. 
where the, uh, the the team that won the first map comes in on the T side of Mirage, wins pistol round, and then things didn't really go so well for the other unsponsored team in Orglis. So, I'd be curious to see how this works out for sponsorless after Liquid has rifles in their hands. I'm gonna be honest, it's so funny that a team is named Orglis because sponsorless was taken. Like, already like taken. to me, <laughs> that that is eight of eight right there. Uh, Naf, though, will find Nitro. It's a four on four. You don't really expect, oh, Liquid to do too much. I thought Rix might have had them both. Only finds the 600 bucks for a liege. And then Hiko is there on the trade. R uh, R Rush there. Jumping around with the MAC-10 will find a Dren. And that's a three on two right now. Again, Liquid, you know, they'd like to find an AK, right? Daps and, and Naf do have them available. And they've got to try to exit together here. Because Liquid, you know, they're not going to have too bad of a round if they find one of these kills. Yeah, if they can grab an AK. Ooh. Yeah, as I say, I think they know Fugly's in that direction, so they're going to be able to deny him access to those AKs. And still get away an AK, as I'm sure Miss Ludo was about to say, would have been hugely beneficial to just save them buying up a rifle, and they get arguably the stronger rifle. So, unable to come away with an AK. Was Team Liquid at the end of that round? I assume he goes just going to be tossing that scout away, right? Or is it, oh my god, Adren's going to be taking it, so... Uh, for going an op on this round, not that uh, oh, I guess he maybe he could have afforded an op, but just bought out around the scout because he knew he was going to get that anyway. Either way, a little bit of a high risk, high reward play coming out of Adren here. So it's going to be four, or excuse me, five AKs across the board for sponsorless. Step up coming from Hiko, though, tries to make something happen as the T's execute up the A ramp. And Shazam will end up taking him down. But Nitro, look at that 180 turnaround. Standing in the fire, nonetheless, to take down Rush. And Elise will get Shazam. We're going to have a four versus three in favor of the CTs now. So opening gun round looking good so far for Team Liquid. Especially after they work this down to just Napoli. He steps Ooh. out. Adren uses the scout to perfection. Gets that final frag of the round. Picks himself up a rifle to exit out. And that's three to one with Liquid on the board. Yeah, so the rifle is returning Liquid to form here as uh, they were able to shut down Sponsorless, but not quite out of the woods yet. Sponsorless had three really clean rounds, including two bomb plants, so they are going to be able to buy up here. Everyone except for Rick's going to be able to get rifles on their hands and still... Okay, no, Adren does upgrade that, that uh, scout to an off, so good decision made by him there, but still going to have to beat the AKs of Sponsorless on this round. Yeah, and the one tech nine for Ricks. I want to look at his money. Did he just not have enough, or did he maybe drop an AK for somebody else? Uh, either way, sponsorless are, are still in this with an okay chance, and that's that scout in the last round for Liquid. I mean, really worried. It's one thing to be three zero up and keep a scout into your first rifle round, but to be trailing zero to three and then have the confidence to just still work with that scout. And Adren did actually bring in one kill with it. I think it might even be the one to have, to have closed out the round, but. Well, Sponsorless right now kind of running their default. They've deposited uh, two people, one in the ladder room, one in the connector. That's being Daps and Rush, respectively, and are now able to flip things around, and they want to go for a B-focused hit, if I'm reading the bomb position correctly. Yeah, it seems like they're going to be cycling that bomb around the apartment, so good read there as Rush finds a frag onto a leash to be hopping his way back into mid. That's going to put a lot of pressure here onto Fugly to either frag or get fragged as he is the only player stopping the terrorists from working their way into the B-bomb site. Be crazy if they can catch him off guard here. Shazam actually looks in the right direction, but Rick's unfortunately going to be uh, the player who gets punished for it. But Rick's was the player with the pistol in his hand, so not terrible in the grand scheme of things. It's going to be a three-on-three with a lot of map control taken by Daps here. Ooh, Daps all the way inside that B-bomb site. That could help out a ton. They probably didn't expect it. But it's Ren quick to trade that out. So Nafli going to try and drop a Molotov into the window. He will Big land nade. it, throws a nade right in front of it. And Rush actually catches Hiko trying to get out from the Molotov and the grenade damage. So now just a Dren left alive. 1v2 here. He does know Rush, or at least Rush was up in the apartments. And uh, trying to spam some shots off through the wall to see if he can catch him. But at this point, a Dren 1v2. Eh, he turns it into a 1v1, but time not on his side. So he's just going to try and exit out. And man, what great positioning from Rush. No, Rush! Does he end up peeking the connector? He could take down a Dren and not let him save the op, but no, he's not going to peek for it. And that is a huge reset in favor of Sponsorless here. Grabbing a fourth round, and Liquid going to be in the dumps. Yeah, neither one of these teams super comfortable economically here, but definitely Sponsor was coming out on top. They're going to be able to make a rebuy uh, of sorts happen here. Was it Shazam going to be stuck with just uh, just attack on his hands? He's going to be playing the Rick's role in this round, but either way, I think they'll, they'll take that any day over Team Liquid having full rifles, but still, they are going to have to deal with this uh, saved op from a Actually, going to be pushing it up mid. That's uh -oh. absolutely crazy. 
Nitro, extremely pop flash there as he drops out on, into underpass rush, takes him down with, without even a fight, really. It was just pretty much an execution down there in the underpass. And Sponsorless, uh, just, just to point out, you know, we got some, some parity here with the matches going Cash Mirage and both best of twos. Sponsorless have done what Orgulus could not. They've got to a four on one. They've found more than three rounds on their T side, and from the way it's looking, they might find even more than that. I'm getting a little nervous for Team Liquid, but obviously they showed us that they are capable of making a comeback when they flip sides. Yeah, but this is a much more sided map than we just saw with Cash, so we should expect Liquid here to win the majority of the rounds from the CT side of this thing. Uh, it's going to wow, be tough if they're not flash, able to, but though. that flashbang was absolutely ridiculous. Worked out well, except for only Hiko left in that bomb site with his teammate rotating over. Op used effectively. Nafly's a little worried. He doesn't know where the pistol is, knows where it trends at, tries to get some shoulder damage off to him. And Hiko, can he grab the AK? Yes, he picks the AK up. And uh, Nafly's still trying to find him. He's 1v2 with the bomb down in a bad position for him to get to it. He's going to use the smoke to jump out into the site. Did Hiko hear him? No, they didn't hear him. Adren might get the off, Ooh. though, and he does peek wide and able to take him down that's gonna be four to two and just like that liquid will respond great play by liquid they're pushing mid i was gutsy at first at pushing the op up mid with the pistols to back it up but they ended up getting so much map control that it really paid off towards the end and they were able to throw that right back into sponsorless's face that's what four rounds that have been back and forth and back and forth that we've seen already and team liquid ultimately well i mean as i said i thought sponsor was ultimately came out on top but then they had that thrown right back in their faces so i wouldn't say ultimately quite yet but liquid certainly uh making the most out of that round exchange back and forth and adren using that op so well as uh really the only gunman on the round yeah and you see that beautiful pop flash that you know everyone expects even as a terrorist like you know that's a, that's a high probability that's about to happen i was almost worried for team liquid that they they blind four people but they only had pistols to try to clean it up but they still made it work and then the op from adren came over but here we go, Sponsorless executing out onto oh, the A man. site. Now Team Liquid starting to bring home all those kills. Only Nitro and Elyse to fall. 3k for Adren and 2 for Hiko. Already though, Sponsorless with 4 rounds in the game, not too terrible. And they could even buy up on this round if they are interested in it. seems like that they are. Naf just going to be choosing to go with uh, regular body armor, no head armor for his AK. Daps going the other way, getting head armor, but choosing to use the Galil, so... Doesn't matter which way you go for it, either way, all the players are going to end up with the firepower they need. Sponsorless look pretty good on, for the most part, on uh, rifle rounds against the Liquid. Interestingly enough, they've folded uh, against the, the mostly pistols of Liquid, so I'll be curious to see how they can readapt to rifles on rifles. And so far, so good as Shazam finds that opening frag. The biggest problem with what we have happening here is if we continue to go back and forth like this, it's only going to help bolster the economy here from Sponsorless. But luckily, Liquid was able to stream together two in a row and not allow Sponsorless to go up over the top by too much here. But back and forth, like I said, favors the T's on this map, or favors the T's on anything anyways, just because it can hurt the economy oh, so much more. Oh. Bugly! Yeah, great flank there. Trying to get another <laughs> one to rush. No call. They didn't even know where he's at. Rush and push up in connector. Go down to a liege. That leaves Daps all by himself. 1v4. And a liege already has a 3k on the round. This is done. This is going to be liquid tying this thing up at 4-4 four to four unless Daps can go absolutely go nuts here. Oh, God. Is that already a term? One, one map later and... Man, that was hilarious. Rush pooped his pants. He just turns around firing an underpass. He has no idea where Fugly is. And, I mean, we talked a little about a little bit about the a1s versus a4 and that's just another massive pro for the a1s you shoot that gun you get kills on the flank they still have no clue where you are right like yeah usually you can kind of use context clues to figure out like hey i was looking in this entire direction i didn't get killed from there so he must be behind me but you, you don't even know when you're on an elevated surface like the the catwalk you could very easily get killed by someone who's under you and looking up at you um that you just can't see whatever for whatever reason and yeah, the, the the freak out there from the, the player connector was certainly funny to watch. But Sponsorless, once again, with pistols in their hands, going to be gearing up for a, a B take. Didn't really go too well for them on their rifle versus pistol take, but perhaps they could use this choke point to their advantage here. But Fugly, spotting out Shazam early. That's going to be a good spot for him on the jump peak. Easy to get nated out there and Molotov down to that thing. But, I mean, Sponsorless is going to be on this eco, so shouldn't expect much from them. But they're just going to try and explode out, steal the rifle away, try and get a bomb plant. There's a counter Molotov comes down. All the players are able to get through it, though. 
relatively unscathed, but the blender is out between Adren and Bugly, and Adren is just mopping up some frags. Gets three. They need to get a bomb plant here. Or yeah. Nafly can grab a liege as he tries to jump through the window, but Nitro and Hiko coming in the rotates. We'll give Liquid the lead 5-4 to four now. And not a terrible job, as I said, using that choke point to their advantage, pushing their way through it and getting a lot of frags for it, and Naf stepping up for his team there, picking up two crucial, crucial frags to force free buys onto Team Liquid. That's just going to keep sponsors that much more in the game going forward, but eventually they're just going to need to win uh, a rifle round here. It's it's getting to the point where, um, you know, they're, they're doing fine, they're getting out to the bomb sites, they're, they've are they been doing a decent job going back and forth with Liquid, but as long as Liquid keeps coming out on top, they're not going to find the round ones that they're going to need, that, that cushion that they're going to need on their own CT side, and Elyse pushing it through the A ramp is going to get two frags for his trouble. Yeah, I love seeing those aggressive plays uh, where the CTs just want to pull them out. You can never really know. You always got to keep someone watching it as a, as a terrorist. But a lot of times, you know, we're like two palace or two g gather some mid control. We'll got, we got three people. We're going to throw an A fake. A lot of times CTs will catch them out with smokes or, or anything like that. But that time they do find rifles. They went out in the trades. I think a liege went and grabbed two. They were also pressuring um, on the catwalk, killing the guys coming up connector. So pretty much a, a clean round for Team Liquid right there. So we're getting into round 11 now between these two teams. The Liquid has a two-round advantage. Sponsorless going to have to try and make something happen again with Pistol Armor here. And uh, hopefully this time it bodes a little bit better for them because they're gearing up towards B once again. And if they're able to catch Fugly right off the bat, that would be huge. But he's just playing the corner of the smoke. The biggest problem with this is if he doesn't get the shots off fast enough, he's going to be in giant trouble. No, he backs out of it. He'll go for the re-smoke. Tries to play what? in that corner once again. Just hold it down, but he's going to get pushed Oh, wow. Two frags up. Going for a third, finally goes down in the smoke. They're going to be able to grab that gun. They just maybe want to back off of it. Yeah, no, they grab the gun. They're going to be four versus three now in favor of Liquid. Yeah, there's no chance they're going to get past that off of Adren. And even if they do manage to bunny hop past it, Nitro would have been there to easily mop that up. So, you know, I'm not exactly sure what the right play for them is at this point, but I can tell you the wrong play will be continuing on that push, especially after taking just a second to think about it. Once you take that second to hesitate, it doesn't even matter at that point. Oof. Oh man, Ricks. Delivering the payload. He's got the bomb here. He's trying to get into the site. He will bring down Hiko and he still has 30 seconds. He can even engage in some mind games here with the Dren. No, he'll just go for the plan. He gets a good one down for a ramp and he will also... He actually hasn't even moved out of the site yet. He's staying on it. He's expecting this player to come CT. Meanwhile, Adren is actually going to be right in there behind him. And oh man. Ricks maybe overthinks that one. Yeah, tough loss there for oh! Rick. Adren gloats a little Close. bit. On you got the... little children watching. You got to cover <laughs> their eyes show. for that stuff. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, Adren. Yeah, whatever. You can, it's, it, they're his, uh, his, his winnings there if he wants to taunt the, the dead body of Ricks. Go ahead. Ricks is not a, a player who is unfamiliar to trash talk himself, so I don't think that is out of the realm of possibilities of, of things that he may deserve when it comes to trash talking. So... Either way, good play by Adren getting behind him. They're just, as you said, completely outplaying Ricks. Ricks very deep inside his own head, thought he had a read on uh, what Adren was doing, but did not have it there. So Liquid extending their, their streak now to six rounds straight. Yeah, looking very good and on point now. After Sponsorless had a good start to this game, the four rounds so far isn't bad. They have a little bit more to work with. I mean, they can win this half still. If, uh, if they're able to just uh, win out from this point forward, but I don't know if that's really going to happen. Nitro does open it up on the Shazam, playing from, uh, playing from right there in the ladder room, just peeking out towards mid. That's going to be a good opener for them, as we're going to have the rest of Liquid just falling back, playing smart, no reason to keep aggressing. You have that one-man advantage. You have to just force the T's to come to you. Well, Shazam is already out of this round. Rix is pretty hurt. Daps is going to try to make a scene over here at the B-bomb site. Maybe pull over Hiko or Elyse. Or sorry, Adren or Elyse seems to be the ones closer. As Hiko is still just in CT spawn holding out towards A. That's where the actual main offensive is. That's going to be Nafly and Rix. Rush will fall as he tries to... Strike also from the connector, Elise shutting that down. Hiko on the backside of triple will find Fly completely unexpected. And Rick jumping up onto Tetris, also going to fall to a nice little flick there by Hiko. And now it is only Daps with the Simon Cal steam icon in a 1v5. <laughs> Daps uh, yeah, trying to work his one. way. It is a good one, but he's going to be in trouble here. Dren's the first one out, trying to find some shots here. 
Uh, Hiko's gonna repeat. He takes Hiko down. Adren's not gonna repeat that. He knows he has plenty of teammates around him to help protect. All he has to do is hold on. Time was on their side. And that will be an eighth round in favor of Team Liquid. And that'll also extend their streak now to seven. As uh, he's been putting a, a real bad hurting on, on sponsorless thus far. It's been, uh, I guess, that one-on-one that -on -one with uh, Adren and Rakes was the closest round that they had seen in a while. And right back to form was Liquid winning in dominant fashion, keeping four players alive in that round, not forcing a lot of rebuys there and finding a lot of economic stability here with Adren. Not only is he top fragging for the team, he's also sitting on $11,000. So uh, he's going to be the, the sugar daddy for the team moving forward uh, unless... Uh, Sponsorless can real. I mean, even if sponsorless really lays into him, he's still going to be the sugar oh. daddy. But he's going to be feeding his teammates those rifles. They're going to have a hard time on this round, sponsorless. As the terrorists, they completely gave up that mid control. Team Liquid took it. They push one off cat, two down connector. They've got mid control. Sponsorless stuck on the extremities. Nitro takes out Rush. Adren burning to fly over the barbecue there. And now it is a three on two. Yeah, Shazam is able to pick up Adren. Not able to pick up another one, but Rix will trade it out quickly, and Nitro just holds the trigger down to find that final frag of the round. That's going to be 9-4 to four in favor of Team Liquid as we hit round 14, and this is uh, getting a little out of control there. Sponsorless needs to win one more. Yeah, if they want to find that comfortability one more, it would certainly help them out. I mean, you know, four rounds, grand scheme of things, not too terrible. Um, four rounds after winning pistol round, kind of underwhelming, and not getting ecoed as well. Like picking up those first three right off the bat, and then only picking up one after that, that's a, a bit of a bummer. But I mean, you know, four rounds on T side Mirage, I think I've seen worse. I mean, I don't think I know I've seen worse. I, I guess the kicker would be that uh, Team Liquid, I think, is going to have a really good T side. So you may just, you, when you're playing a team this good, you're definitely going to need more than four. And Nitro, I think Nitro. a great spray down. One clip, two frags, only 20 bullets, gets it done. We were talking about. The spray down ability of the A4 versus the A1, but Nitro doesn't care. He wants the laser gun. Yeah, and while I have seen my, my fair share of 11 4 comebacks on Mirage over in the European Pro League, especially last season, it seems like Team Liquid started to, to heat up there on cash, and as they've come over to Mirage, it seems like they're, they're maybe rapidly approaching a boil. Good one. Yeah, looking very good so far. Nitro is going to peek out, and, and another shutdown round coming out from Nitro. That's 3K on it for him. That'll be 10 to 4 as we hit the final round of this half. And uh, money should be okay for sponsorless. Not the greatest, so they can piece together a buy here for this final round. They're going to have to no matter what. They're going to be on a buyout, but uh, they would prefer it to be a little bit healthier. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, Rush can be sitting on uh, $750, which I'm sure he wish he could spend on anything. Maybe even another Tech 9 dual wield him. Oh, my, could you imagine? Sure, he's not. I could not. I could not imagine. <laughs> but uh, either way, I think uh, a lot of their issues come from the fact that they're giving Liquid uh, control of mid a lot, whether it's on top of Cat or uh, w whether it's uh, Adren playing from window. or he's. I mean, Adren's been doing such a good job of mixing up the angles that he's offering. I feel like he's in mid getting picks whenever he needs to be. Then next thing you know, in, a, in the blink of an eye, he's already in in the, the B kitchen catching players running out of the B apartments. Um, now this round we're going to be seeing uh, messing around by E-Box and the connector, and he's just all over the place. And, and sponsorless is, even when they put bodies over towards middle, they wow. are just failing to get that mid control. You know, Rush goes down early, Shazam. A bit of luck there with the spray down through the smoke and lives on one HP. Now he's finally brought in by Adren, but the map control will go to Liquid, and that's going to force sponsorless just probably into somewhat of a meager A split and a three on four. Yeah, not what they're looking forward to limping into thus far. And actually, Belize is going to be rotating in as well. So we going to have plenty of manpower, the CTs, to uh, deal with this potential A take. Or not, definite A take now. Yeah, he goes right there in the site. Same with the Dren. They both pick up frags. So it's going to leave Nafli by himself. Tries to throw a pop flash out. Sees too many targets at once. Can't find any of them, and that was actually a 3k right there, I believe, for Adren in the end of that round. But 11 to 4 half in favor of Team Liquid. Now we switch sides. Sponsorless will be playing from the CT side, which it's a CT sided map. So if they can pick up the pistol here, they can set themselves up with some good momentum to try and make what could be the start of a comeback. Yeah, definitely. I think it is certainly possible that Sponsorless is capable of making this comeback, but this is kind of something that I touched on, I think, even the last map. I can't remember if it was pregame or during the map. I feel like we see this a lot with uh, Underdog taking a map one off of a, a, a team that should be more than capable of beating them too low. Um, they barely, the, the Underdog team wins kind of just by the skin of their teeth, and then game two, reality sets in, the stronger team steps up and just 
corrects all the errors that they were making on, on game one. And I think we're seeing that pretty much uh, thus far with Liquid taking that, that dominating first half, but um, sponsorless perhaps ripping that, uh, could rip that away from them by winning a pistol round, but, but time will tell. I really think Liquid is, is finding their form now. They're shooting much better than they were in that uh, you know first half on, on cash, and even they, they started to hit their stride in, in the second half of cash. I think if um, they didn't just perform so badly in, in that first half, it, it could have potentially even brought that cash one back, but they, it was just too deep of a hole that they had to dig themselves out of. Yeah, absolutely. For the for the first one on cash, Team Liquid were looking like a completely different team when they flipped sides, and here they are flipping sides again. It, I mean, as it often is, the second pistol round here of the game could very much decide this. It would make Liquid, you know, likely to have the 14-4 uh, to 4 score line. That means almost no mistakes for sponsorless. That's going to ruin your, you know, your economic decisions. If a team gets up to 14, you're, you're going to be forced to force pretty much every single round to stay in it to win it, and that's making a comeback so hard. So a lot riding on this round for sponsorless. Yeah, Sponsorless really needs to pick this up. As I said earlier, they need to get the momentum going in their favor on the easier side. Uh, with Liquid grabbing some rounds, it's going to put a lot of pressure on them. And I mean, Liquid has been shooting really on point. It's after second half, or the start of second half on cash, they really started shooting very well. And they haven't looked really back since then. And uh, they've been causing quite a bit of problems for Sponsorless here. And Elysia showed why, just jumps up into the connector, able to take down Rush. Shazam will answer, but they are able to take that A-bomb site through a mid and A split. They should be able to get the bomb down here. Yeah, Shazam's got an opening in that smoke. He saw Fugly from a distance. He'll move in close. He does find that kill, but Nitro immediately with the Tech-9 will take Shazam. And now it's a three-on-three -three time and taking away in the Liquid's favor. No kits here for either of these CT players. Daps and Nafly as well. Ricks will be taken out by Nitro. Daps over the stairs. That's the last thing you'll see is that beautiful A bomb site as Adrian puts a Glock bullet in his head. And now it's Naf in a one on three. He does have a five, seven. A couple players are low, almost lining up there for him. For a second, but Nitro to get another, and that's uh, that's a 3k for Nitro. And to set up that 3k was Fugly taking one for the team right there and dropping a 5-7 to Nitro and allowing Nitro to use his money to buy up the, the body armor. I made him a walking juggernaut as Fugly was just forced to use his Glock, and I think he bought himself like a smoke or something like that, a nice utility to help out the team, and then Nitro got it done. When you're taking a risk like that, you're always... You know, in the back of your head, like, oh, man, I hope this, hope this guy doesn't screw this up. You're giving him all the firepower, and you're putting uh, kind of all your, your faith in him to, to frag out with the, the tools given, and Nitro did just that, picking up the 3K. So now we're going into the first anti-eco here coming out from Team Liquid. And it's not going the greatest so far. I mean, Shazam and Nafli picked up some frags there, able to drop a lesion fugly. And so Shazam still working with the scout, almost gets a Dren from behind. A Dren still trying to fire off some damage into his direction, and he will get some. But if this could be an eco round, this could be gigantic for Sponsorless. They just have to stay alive and uh, force Liquid into peaking uh, angles that are more uh, advantageous for Sponsorless. Yeah, Team Liquid, let's see what they can do. They still kind of have, you know, superior weaponry. That scout from Shazam obviously, obviously caused them a little bit of trouble. I think he took one guy out with a headshot. So that's the power of the scout right there if you got the quick aim. Nitro, though, will fight Shazam, and that starts to bring it back to even. It's now three on four. Daps is in a close, you know, try to get one kill spot, but fails to do so. Nafly will find Adren with that MP7, but Nitro and oh, Hiko wow. as they move in. We'll bring it to the two-on-one. It's only Naf who looks to be scurrying away to save armor in an MP7. Not generally a... I mean, I guess it is just going into the third round, so the MP7 will have... Angle. It'll have some value, but... Yeah, I guess we'll try to get exits. Maybe try to get this AK from Nitro, but he'll most likely exit towards Palace. This fake actually might work. He may be able to catch out Hiko off guard here while he's moving. He does just that. That's one frag. Nitro now last man standing with 10 HP. This is, uh... Well, no kid on him. It's going to be tough for Naf unless... Metro really makes a mistake here, but yeah, I've seen crazier things happen uh, with Stop. that Metro. Not going to make the mistake, so uh, another round win for Liquid, even though they're just barely uh, scraping uh, by by the skin of their oh, teeth and he lives. on that round win. Oh, wow, really? I, I, I thought the bomb was about to explode. Yeah, it didn't they blow up. It got hold cut on off. to that AK. That's huge right there for uh, his teammates to be able to buy up a round yep. right there. And uh, also with that... Um, Rix was, sorry, this is the point I was gonna make. Rix was in such a great position on a flank and just waited a little bit too long. You, just, you know that, that, that kind of flank move that players do where they kind of let someone buy and they don't really bite on it and you try to wait for that perfect time. And fortunately, Rix just spent a little too long waiting for that perfect time and got punished for it. 
and that just kind of set uh, set up the domino effect that was Liquid finding each individual pick. Yeah, so round 18 underway, Liquid with a huge advantage. Oh, Fugly gets ripped from below there, tries <laughs> oh. to step out, but Nafly ends up taking him down anyway, so that's a good opener here. Can they keep this going in their favor? Not looking like it towards the end. Bombs they can have some trouble. Dap trying to bail out to the connector and Rush is what? still in the site and couldn't find a leash until Rick steps up to make that shot happen. But I mean, Team Liquid right now looking really, well, they were until Nafly just did that to Nitro. Let's see if they can even this out anymore or take the advantage. They haven't picked up any of the rifles that have been dropped. So it's going to be a two on two in the A bomb site with Hiko alive. Same with the Dren. Yeah, they're getting pinched as well, right? Rix has moved all the way around. He's actually decided to go all the way up in Palace. You've got Nafly repositioning himself. He's left the CT spawn only to be intercepted there by a Dren. They're just, I, that's like the second fake plan. Are they going to go through for another fake plan here? Just keep on fake plan, draw him out as Rix will see the bomb planter. He can't quite finish that spray. And Hiko planting with 100. I don't know if that was intended, but definitely the smarter play there for Liquid as he had the more HP and Hiko finishes it off with a headshot. Yeah, I think Rick's made the right play there, going for the party that wasn't defusing, right? To get, get rid of the bodyguards that you could just quickly... Planting, but yeah. Whatever, same thing. Six of one, half dozen of <laughs> Um It's super hot in my room, if you guys can't. I'm just like, gonna oh, I'm going to die over here. I'm Honestly, I ran out of water. I'm going to die over here. Um, so I, I think maybe some, so, some, you know, uh, whatever. Forget it. He was planting, not defusing. But either way, he made the right decision going after the guy that was his bodyguard, not the guy that was going for the plant there. Just then uh, trying to switch his focus to Hiko after the fact, but unfortunately just spent too long strafing and spraying and not quite uh, just pulling, reining in the shot. And with that, Liquid can be able to bully their way through the B-bomb site. Yeah, good openers coming from them. Only Rick's left alive now, 1v4 at the moment. This is looking like Team Liquid's going to push this to map point pretty fast here. Well, oh Rick's my god! Three! Nitro, Elyse, and Adren turns this into a one-on-one, -on -one, avoids the Molotov, jumps right through the window, gets away from the flashbang, looking to try and find Hiko. Can he pick him up? Sees him! Wow! And get it done! And just like that, Ricks turns this into a one versus four clutch that he makes happen. And that's a fifth round for Sponsorless now, and they prevent Team Liquid from going to map point. Yeah, I'm not sure if he was looking for guns or Adren's body there, but either way, huge, huge <laughs> round win coming in from Rix there and essentially keeping his team uh, alive in this game and <laughs> fugly calling out his teammates there, accusing them of frag hunting instead of locking up the round win, and that's actually going to force the Liquid onto a save, so I'm sure they're not exactly excited about that, but the fact that they were able to really bully their way through the B-bombs like that I think bodes well for their uh, ability to do it once again in the future, so I mean, yeah. Once again, probably not super stoked about that, but I, I'm not sure if that is like that. That wasn't like the the, the game and oh wow, right there. Not flies like, hey, I'm gonna jump scout. Everybody loves a good jump scouter. Fugly takes him out of the air with a headshot immediately. Nafly doesn't even get to shoot. Elige though has also fallen, so it's gonna be a four on four. And this was just a Tech Nine P250 train, no armor to get into the site and get the bomb down. Will they really get to match point off of this? It's well, it's not looking like it as. Sponsorless are moving in, and there they go. They've taken everybody out, and now I got some all chat going on again. That's the way you need you need to string those together. Two in a row bolsters your economy. You don't get reset by liquid. I mean, a reset right there would have just put them on map point with no money coming from sponsorless. So that's huge for them to get two in a row. Uh, and still, their economy is not the greatest, having a lot of rebuys. But if they can get three in here, make a clean round out of this, that will help out a ton. Yeah, definitely. But once again, that was just another round where Liquid grouping up at B was able to get out to the bomb site. It seems like they might actually be going for it again, or at least putting extra pressure over on the B side of the map because they know where their bread is buttered. They've been every time they've tried to get out of that, that that central choke point over there in the B apartments, they've done it just fine and got the opening frags. They weren't able to hold off the retake last time, but I mean that's just the firepower differential eventually catching up to them. I mean, if I guess, wait, who is that? Oh no, Dash. I thought he was. I thought Dash was underpass for a second. I thought he was about to make a huge play, but yeah, Dash alone in the B bomb site. You know, his closest teammate is all the way boosting the double boxes on Cat. They could explode out on B once again, and I'm sure have a, a decently easy time taking it. But actually, gonna be sliding their way over to the A bomb site. Yeah, so it looks like Liquid. I mean, they did get that the worst case scenario from Sponsorless's point of view, right? They wanted three pistols. They had a ridiculous amount of rounds in a row. I think what sixteen? No, what? It was eleven four, right? Sorry, fourteen. 
rounds in a row. Man, that's insane. And we got Sponsorless. Backs up against the wall, trying to stay in it here. Shazam's got his op. Daps is down to a FAMAS. Team Liquid are taking things slow. They've got Fugly. He's pushed out far here onto the end of those B apartments, and he'll fall. So they know it's a fake. Hiko dropping them all off into Shadow. They've got to pull the trigger right now with Shazam and Rix both getting on the board right there. Now only Hiko and Adren. So you're expecting a strong CT side from Sponsorless. Looks rough after the pistol rounds, but here they are delivering three rounds in a row now. Yeah, and delivering in which they're keeping all five of their players alive. We were talking about how uh, rebuys were kind of their undoing for a little bit, but they're able to A, get rid of that FAMAS, which is important, and then B, not have to go for any more rebuys. So uh, everyone's just buying up nades, $1,400 being spent at the most on uh, per player. And, and with that, they're going to be forced to put on another save where they could have another potential clean round and really find the stability that they need. They're, they're on their way now. None of the players are, are, are poor by any means, and they'll definitely be able to buy up if they lose, but they definitely need one more to find that, that ultimate comfortability. So into round 22 now, Sponsorless with a huge advantage here in just this round. They have guns up, they have the ability to try to make something big happen for themselves. Napoli gonna be right there, Molotov lands right in the Dren's face, he can't get out of the smoke. Trying to make it out, and Napoli will end up taking him down. It's gonna be Hiko and Fugly, there goes Hiko, so now Fugly walking into the A bomb site. Rix was ready and waiting for him. And it's gonna be 14 to 8 now, Sponsorless trying to come back. And doing a, a really solid job of it, just shutting things down. That's back-to-back -back rounds, as I was talking about, where they were to keep all five players alive. So that's no rebuys in two rounds. That's absolutely huge. But they are going to have to try to beat the AKs of Liquid, which they have had rather mis mixed success doing thus far. They actually had that, that absolute shutdown round at A when uh, Team Liquid tried to sell that fake. That did not work. But for the most part, Liquid's been pretty competitive with rifles in their hands. So... It'll be a, a big round for Sponsorless here if they can come out with a win. I need to ask Shazam a question. I don't know why he aims so low when he peeks window out towards middle. I don't see any other opera do that. He's like practically aiming at their legs. I guess he's just been crouch peeked so many times. Like I, I really don't comprehend it. Well, let's see. Four on two. They're still, again, looking very, very strong here. Shazam has found one of those kills. Nafly with two of them. Now only Fugly alive and alone and very scared and without a bomb. And yeah. Shazam definitely has the read on it. Yeah, he's in a tough position here, trying to work his way through Kitchen. And it always kind of seems like we have one of these liquid players. Yeah, Shazam, too ready for it. Had a liquid player a little out of position, trying to go on the rotate and uh, trying to cause a little drama at a different site, but it never works out. Or it hasn't been for the last couple of rounds, so Sponsorless will get themselves a ninth round as we hit round 24. And this is one of those rounds where Liquid's kind of on the fence when it, turn, when it comes to buying. Nitro as rich as 5k, uh, Hiko not quite there with 3-4. It seems like they're going to be going for a uh, not even an all-armor Tech-9 buy, just mostly a Tech-9 buy. But they're going to have to start using this bonus money. That's, that's five round losses straight. Losing this one will make six. So I guess they'll be able to launch that into a, uh, a large buy, but... Gonna need to find some success soon as Sponsorless has really brought themselves back into this game. They're, you know, win this one and they're only down by four. All right, so five on three. I mean, they nearly had a round Team Liquid when they just went for Tech Nines and no armor over towards the B site. And here this time they go with A, a couple smokes, one out through mid early. And now Shazam oh, caught on Shazam. reload, has a Tech Nine of his own, but Elise will bring him down. And now it is only Daps once again faced with a one versus five, and he will fall. Too fugly. Wow, brutal, brutal round for Sponsorless to lose right there. I mean, if you're going to lose to Liquid, That's at least rough. lose uh, to the Rifles, right? Like, ah, it's so upsetting. And it wasn't even like a full Tech 9 armor buy. It was just some people had armor and other people just kind of bought Tech 9s and some nades. But either way, great execute from Liquid out there on the A bomb site. And uh, that, that split worked perfectly. I, I lost track of who it was. But the player that came up connector and got that uh, opening frag really set up the round for Liquid. Yeah, so possibly the last round of this game uh, could be happening right here. I mean, Team Liquid is now on map point. That would be great for them. They want to come out of this with at least one point in their column tonight and not a not a big fat goose egg, but Sponsorless still has the chance to come back into this. Shazam's got an op. Adren has an op of his own. But what a heartbreaking round for Team Liquid to take away from Sponsorless, that last one. Yeah, definitely. And, well, let's see... This round, 30 seconds or so, already off the clock. And when Team Liquid are starting to work back towards their spawn, they've already got Hiko, you know, ready to, to burst out here. He's got the Molotov. He's setting it up. He's lining it up off of that door to throw into Shadow. There's, well, 
I don't, there's not even a player under there, but you got to do it anyways. Let's see what they can't do. That's Ricks all the way back. And CT, he'll be taken out by Adren. Now it's just going to be Rush at the stairs. And he's going to fall. Doesn't even have a chance. He's so concerned that there's someone coming up behind him. But actually, there wasn't anything. So he's just mishearing some sound cues. And now we've got a four on three here. Bomb going down for Team Liquid. Oh, Daps ends up going down to Nitro. So only two players left alive here for Sponsorless. They have to win this round. And Naflot can't spray down Nitro. But he will end up finding the shot. Final bullet nonetheless. So it will be a two on three now. They know one is coming from CT. They have to have an idea. Uh, there goes Shazam. And a tough, tough battle is going to come out here from Nafli. Gets the first one. Can he find a Dren with the op? Looks up, sees him, tries to swap guns, and a Dren will take him down. So Liquid will win map number two, 16 to 9 over Sponsorless. So it's a 1 1 tie game tonight. Yeah, I think uh, push is certainly not what Liquid uh, had in mind. I think they were really banking on picking up a 2 0 and a super winnable 2 0 there. It just points that they're throwing away. But, you know, after the uh, the first half of cash, I think they are uh, totally satisfied with their ability to bounce back and at least uh, make this a 1 1 push. And just like that last game, as far as I'm concerned, that's a win for sponsors. That's a map that everyone thought that Liquid would be able to pick up, or a series rather, that Liquid would be able to pick up 2 0. And the fact that they were able to steal a point away from that series is just going to pay dividends down the line as the, the, the season progresses. Yeah, that was insane. I mean, the, the fact that. You know, we have both of these games going on tonight. Liquid versus Sponsorless. The fact that that trades out 1-1 down the best of two. You know, the split there. The fact that Orgless versus CLG split as well. Like, you've got a, a lot of teams now splitting games. And I think you guys had already talked about very early on when we started tonight's broadcast of the pregame show. Like, there's there's a lot less of a difference in the skill level between some of the top NA teams and the bottom of the pack. They, they've all kind of risen. There's a big middle area with just a few standout teams now. Yeah, I, 